Welcome to another episode of Whiskey Talk 4. What the F? Hosted by the internet's best Vietnamese and Bulgarian whiskey duo. I'm Win And I'm Plamen. Plamen, well, what do you got for us today? So, I want to thank Carl and you both. It was a team effort tracking this one down. It's the yeah. Jameson Cold Brew Special Edition. It has whiskey and coffee and it made me really excited because I'm obsessed with espresso. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's one of our cocktails today, right? We're gonna do an Irish coffee? Yes. This one was um, hard to find. It yeah. just came out too, yeah. so that's 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 another thing. Yeah. yeah it's hard to get too, guys. Uh, I went and picked it up in the store, the guy was pretty much saying oh, they've never had it. I, I called it, I called it some special contacts yeah. to like <laughs> track down this bottle. It, yeah, it's a little hard to find right now. Yeah, but I'm excited. It's yeah. a limited edition release, right? Brand new release as well for the the year 2020. And you can't say whiskey and coffee in the same sentence without freaking people out. Like, of course it's gonna sell out, so mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, it's gonna true. be good. Paul, you wanna explain the process? Yeah. So first, as with every whiskey, it doesn't matter that it's Irish now, right? It's a little bit outside of our norm, but you're gonna pour just enough so it doesn't tip out of the glass when we tip it over. Then you nose, taste, and then you breathe out slowly and just enjoy everything that's happening, right? And that's gonna happen neat. So we always start out neat, no matter what. Oh, I'm gonna interrupt you real quick right there. Yeah. So this time around, I recently learned something because I've been, you know, trying to learn a bit more about whiskey. To fully experience a whiskey, you should also just leave it out at room temperature in a glen cairn or a nosing glass mm. to let it build up that bouquet or aroma inside the glass. Okay. So I do have some glasses set aside just for that. Yeah, that sounds great. Yeah, so we'll have a, a set of these set aside and then when we're Pretty much through our whole process, we'll go back and taste it. You're like venturing dangerously into wine territory oh. with this strategy. I actually learned a little bit from Eric last <laughs> week when uh, I went to his winery, so it is part of that. Yeah. You know what? What if we tried aerating the whiskey? Oh. So I have aerators. Maybe we'll the next that, episode. We'll, okay. yeah. we'll move forward yeah. with that next Feature time. tests. <laughs> so after the neat, we're going to add a little bit of water. Uh, with the higher proof whiskeys, it's always nice to kind of take some of the edge off and really get more of the the body. Mm-hmm. So that'll be next. Then we'll add some ice, much to my dismay. I won't get into it too much, but some of these are actually made to be drinking over ice. Uh, and then we'll make cocktails. What are cocktails today? Irish coffee, right? Yep. So that's coffee, Bailey's, Irish whiskey, boom, done, delicious. Sounds good. I'm so ready. I'm so excited. All right, you guys ready for this? Yeah. Yeah. No pop here. This is James. No pop. <laughs> <laughs> this is a twist cap. Yeah. I'm not even gonna let you smell the bottle. Give me your glasses. This is gonna be incredible. Wow, look how deep amber it is. Oh Oh my god. This looks like that Macallan that you really love. I mean, look at the color on this thing. Yeah, this is. You guys, put your nose into this. Into this. And enjoy. Oh, oh my. (laughs) Whoa. (laughs) Right? Holy. This is crazy. (laughs) Great. That's why I didn't let you smell the bottle. This has to be in a green can. (laughs) Oh my god. I would love to wake up to this every day. My mouth is salivating right now. <laughs> this is amazing. All right, we're gonna go back to that ABC store and buy. Okay, a so it's um, even they still have yeah. it. I'm buying more. Don't yeah. worry, I got I got connections now. Nice. I'll get us any bottle we want. Man, we need to get a couple more of these. Oh man, this is I can't heavily believe. coffee. Oh my god, I can't believe they were selling okay. this bottle at the store for twenty nine ninety nine, knowing that it was that hard to get. Yeah. Wow. So, Thirty bucks. Well, ABC can't sell for. More than the actual price, because it's state yeah. section, mm-hmm. so they can't. There's no secondhand price. Yeah. That's probably why it was running out so fast. Yeah. yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. That's amazing. <sighs> okay. Well, uh, the the nose for this will be shocking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting no cardamom from this one. Oh, you can't even see through this. This is. It's thick. got a solid coffee look. Yeah. So it definitely has like that coffee look, not necessarily just a whiskey look. How long are you start us off? Start a bottle. Well. The first thing I'm getting from the nose is coffee. Oh. Consensus, I hope. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. But the second, check it out, you ready? Cool. Mama Juana. <laughs> Mama Juana. Yeah. Yeah. Right? You're right? That's exactly what it this does smell smells like. Mama like Juana. That. Yeah. I mean, Mama Juana does have a distinct coffee taste and smell to it. Yeah. Oh. Mm. It's been a long time since we've had that. I uh, had to throw that out. Bottle. The last time someone had the punishment bottle was Carl. Oh. That was <laughs> no, he had something else entirely. <laughs> That was, that that might kill you if you had too much. <laughs> that, was, that was the Mama Juana, man. That's, that was intense. I st- I'm still dying. <laughs> I'm still dying now. Uh, yeah, it never today. quite leaves you. It took a while, but uh, it's it's still slowly eating away oh my, my insides. What are you guys yeah. getting from this? Carl. 
Uh, well, uh, my first three notes here might not be legal to say, but I'll say it anyway. Sexy. Uh, legal. Of course agree. it's legal. Or, agree. Or You're on this episode. Orgasmic. Oh, yes. Uh, this one might be bleeped. Uh, makes her wet. <laughs> 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 yeah. And uh, licorice. Licorice. Interesting. Yeah. yeah. I can see that. We all agree on the coffee parts. So I don't really have to say but I yeah. do smell a uh, licorice in there. Licorice. Oh. Interesting. Yeah, I didn't put licorice. Well, I don't. You don't like licorice. I don't eat much licorice. So I actually can't really call to mind what it would exactly taste like. It's like Dr. Pepper. So, when I'm not I, a huge fan of Dr. Pepper. When I first take a smell, it's strongly coffee, and then yeah. the longer I smell is when I start to smell licorice. Oh, okay. All right. So I guess my uh, my tasting notes. So again, coffee. That's pretty you good. got coffee. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Whoa. Um, and then it's not like the actual nose, but it gets it, it's just the feeling of breakfast. Like this is how I start my Ooh. breakfast. So like definitely this is. I guess you can say it's like a syrupy kind of. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. A little bit syrupy, a little bit sweet, and that's why my last note was tiramisu. Ooh, Ooh yes. Yeah. Absolutely. Right. Yeah, you hit it. Yeah. All right, let's that do this. Make or what? <clears throat> okay. Slancha. 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 That is, that is, uh, ooh. Wow. That is interesting. I'll go because I don't have much. Okay. I got raw espresso. Like, it when you still actually have some coffee mm -hmm. beans in your coffee. Like, it's very strong. Okay. And tree bark. More of that mama juana. It's exactly coffee. mama juana. Yeah, like, <laughs> tree bark. Yeah. Uh, I think what I would say is it's not just a cold brew, but it tastes almost exactly like the cold brew nitro from Starbucks. <laughs> I think Carl and I are always on, like, yeah, dude, on not point not, together. And yeah, not yeah. just the cold brew, the nitro version. Yeah, yeah, like it, and it's that smooth too. You want to hear my note yeah. on it? This is cold brew for sure with that sweet Irish cream from Starbucks. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they have that. Yeah, it's 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 that. Yeah. <laughs> so, and I also wrote this is the one we're yeah. making Irish coffee with. Oh yeah. Nice. Yeah. This this will definitely probably be the best one you can mm. ever get for an Irish coffee. Definitely. Yeah. So I mm. brought condensed milk in case we wanted to use that to make the Irish coffee. Mm -hmm. We might make mm -hmm. two Irish coffees. This is gonna be amazing. Or three. Be... We have three whiskeys. We can make I three know. Irish oh, coffees yeah. if we can uh, if we can live through it. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. Okay, so I do want to say one yeah. thing. Um, do you guys notice the slight lack of the alcohol presence? Like, yeah, that's like, that was the other thing. Well guess, below. Guess the ABV. Forty, flat. Percent or proof? Percent. Okay. I don't think it's exceeding a hundred proof. Definitely not. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, but, but if it's less, up. if it's less than forty, it's not a whiskey by American standards. So it might not be. I it's think it's here. below forty. I think it's thirty-nine point nine. Okay, so here's my theory about it, and that's because we live in Virginia, and Virginia liquors have to be sold at the ABC store, right? For sure. And if it's under 40%, is it still classified as a liquor? Could it be sold at, like, Giant or Safeway? No, 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 because... Right. No, no, because yeah, under 40% it's just... It's not a whiskey. It can be some other liquor. Yeah, yeah, but it wouldn't necessarily be restricted to being sold at the ABC store. Right? Oh, interesting. So if you can only get it at the ABC store, to me, it would have to be legally that's over right, 40%. That's right, because soju you can buy at a grocery store. And that's roughly... So this definitely is over 40. All right, reassess your bets. I still think it, I it, think it's gotta be a flat forty. I don't think it okay. can be much higher. Uh, what do you think? We're gonna be surprised. I think this is in some gray area, but I think it's under forty percent. I'm gonna say forty two. You think it's over forty? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna change mine because everybody's sitting like right there to forty. Yeah. I'm gonna go with a forty forty six. Just to be like a little bit surprised. I'm gonna, all right. I'm, I'm saying thirty seven. I'm telling you the answer is right now. Thirty seven. Whoa! What is it? Wow, we all suck. 30, you guys ready for this? 37? 30%. 30? 30! 30. 30%? 30. Yeah. So you're absolutely right. This is not very strong at all. Yeah. I was, yeah, because that was the first thing I noticed. It was... Yeah, so this isn't actually, like, fully So you, what you're saying is, I can have this in the morning and not be an alcoholic. <laughs> Your wife will not get mad at you if you drink this in the morning. It's only 30%. That's pretty much wine. I really think... That's pretty which much Which is pretty water. much orange it's juice. Pretty yeah. much water. <laughs> That's, it's pretty much coffee. That's, yeah. what, boy, that's what I'm saying. This should be sold at my local grocery store. <laughs> it'd be diluted in this, the wine section. This should be on the shelf at Starbucks. And I'm like, hey, can I have some nitro cold brew? And can put you put in a shot of Jameson cold brew? 
<laughs> no, can you just pump nitro through this? Can you imagine <laughs> That's what I want. all of the 12,000 Starbucks branches having to get alcohol licenses? <laughs> that would be a nightmare. All right. When you said, oh, we're all wrong, in my head, I was like, whoa, 55? That's, <laughs> that's what I was thinking. Was like, oh, I was getting mind blown for a second at how high I was. Mm. Because it definitely didn't taste like it be that high. Yeah, this is just morning coffee. This yeah. is completely different from the proper 12. Like, 30 I don't. this is more of a liqueur for me than anything It else. is would be a liqueur. Yeah. It's not a whiskey. Yeah. yeah. Not... By American standards, not by Canadian or anywhere standards, really, because most yeah. most places classification of whiskey is forty percent yeah. or up. I'm shocked, but it smells nice. It smells nice, and the color is immaculate. It is a uh, yeah. just beautiful. Yeah. What if we just get a ni nitrogen pump and pump this through? Oh, Make a nitro too. bottle. Of nitro Jameson and cold brew. Cold brew. That would be. Where do you get a nitrogen pump? I have no idea. I like the idea. Everything nitrogenated is better. Let's move on to water, shall we? Just a quick splash of water, and we'll use Carl's little uh, table spinning method. Water yeah. reminds me of Mama Juana. I feel like that was going to be the worst one with water. More or less the same thing. I have to yeah. say, now it's just coffee. <laughs> now it's just coffee, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> and not, not even like cold brew or like cold brew nitro, it's regular coffee. Like yeah. a drip coffee. That one was already now. diluted to, to yeah. the point you're supposed to drink it at, and like anything lower than that would just be like... The water. mixture they have right now is perfect. Yeah. yeah. Put a little water in there, then just for sure. Just maybe make a put cup a little bit of maybe put a little yeah. bit of cream. Ooh. That's about it. Yeah. We'll, we'll get there. We're getting there. We're gonna for get sure. There. Yeah. That's definitely the one we're making our, our Irish coffee oh, yeah. with. Jameson cold brew. Definitely. Definitely no. not. So why don't we rotate all one? Okay. okay. All right. Slancha. Slancha. I think if this was chilled and not with ice, it would be better. I have whiskey stones. Yeah, I would probably use a whiskey stone over the ice because the ice is watering it down like I would add water gotcha. before. Yeah. Yeah, so I think the Jamison Cold Brew would taste good with like yeah. a little chill, but I think I would use the stones over ice because the ice does kind of water it down mm -hmm. a little bit. Yeah. I necessarily wouldn't pick to put ice into it, but it's not bad with set ice. The only one I would actually drink chilled would be the cold brew, but I would, like if I put anything in the glass, it would be the stones over actual ice. Yeah. You know? Or, or just would, keeping it in the fridge or something. Yeah, just right? keep the bottle yeah, in the yeah, fridge, yeah. probably be easier. For sure. Because uh, I can see that one being really good when it's colder. So ice is a bust as it normally, usually is. <laughs> yeah. Have we had anything that's like been improved by ice? All right, so we got a measure, Irish cream. Irish cream. From Kirkland. We got some espresso. Espresso by me. By Palmin. We've decided that the best Irish whiskey to make your Irish coffee with is the Jameson cold brew. <laughs> Boom. Right there. <laughs> Slancha! Mm. Wow, solid. Oh yeah. This is really delicious. This is the second best cocktail we've ever made on camera. What do you guys think about this cocktail? I like it. How do you like which coffee did we put? Which coffee? It was a Starbucks. Actually, let me. What this is important. This what is important. Put? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, it's very is. important for the cocktail. When it comes to Irish coffee, a lot of times it's mostly about one, what is the coffee you use? And then two, yeah. what whiskey are you putting in? Because generally, right. like Bailey's Irish cream is your kind of standard. When it comes yeah, to, that one's just cream. a filler in between. Irish and cream is Irish cream. Yeah, much. there's not yeah. like there anything oh, different. Yeah. I think the biggest impact is. Probably gonna be what whiskey you put in there. A little and bit whiskey is perfectly. Yeah. So if I put it, in, yeah, I would yeah. say the whiskey yeah. is gonna be like your strongest yeah. factor. Then your coffee is the next one, and then your cream is you gonna know, be like the constant. So the coffee in the Irish coffee was a medium roast from Starbucks, pretty standard. The Pike like, Place. Yep. Yeah. yeah. All right. So I think it's a solid one. I did grind it for about ten seconds just to get a little bit of finer grind because this one was pre-ground. It's arabica coffee. Yeah, it's not bad. I like it. I want to. I want to say something real quick. Yeah, the Jameson Cold Brew. Yeah. Out of all the ratings we have, this is the first one I would firmly put into cocktail territory because it actually enhances Absolutely. every cocktail mm -hmm. we've made. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's amazing in cocktails. Like just, it's. I never thought I would say this about a whiskey. Perhaps it's not a whiskey. Either way, we treat it. It's a gray area it. for Solid. sure. It's a gray area. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's but this, so this is our first cocktail bottle. Yeah. Cocktail bottle? Yeah, I would totally yeah, put this in your inventory. 
and use it whenever you're trying to make someone a hot chocolate, which they will always yeah. Except you gotta pay out your now because it's hard to find. I thought it was a whiskey until I tasted it. Yeah. Then like, I realized it's not even close to a whiskey. Yeah. It's a liquor. Slightly alcohol content. stronger. Guys, I, I would say this this time around, the uh, cocktails was a resounding success. Oh, it was, it was my favorite cocktail episode to date. Let's try these whiskeys that we've set aside. The idea here is, does this taste different after sitting out for a while? No. Oh, smells the same. And the uh, Jameson, just drink it out of the bottle. I got nothing mix for it you. In a cocktail, Actually, pour this it on is, I don't think it This leads me to my petition for you both, yeah. okay? I think we should not put this one in the infinity bottle. It's not a whiskey. Right. Yeah. Yeah, it's not over 40%. It's literally I... just sugar and coffee. <clears throat> And it's gonna f the entire bottle that we've been working on. I would say months. that I would only do it if the concern is that it's not actually a whiskey because it's under 40%. It's definitely like a. Ooh, I might not what you think on the taste, um, though. It's <laughs> not the face said it all. Alright, so it's now not, the plum is already tasted. Oh it's no. It's acrid. It's acrid. It's not like just bitter, it's, it's repulsive. So, in a way. Do you guys ever use step functions? Yeah. So, okay. Well, when you drink the Kaula, it goes like from zero to one, and it's like amazing. Mm -hmm. The moment you have the Kaula Jameson concoction, it drops back down to zero, like instantly. <laughs> like there's no plateau. There's no smooth transition. Like oh, I kind of see what this is doing. Trying to no, amazing and complete, not <laughs> neutral. <laughs> like mm -hmm. uh, it's only bad because it's not good. Compared to what you get from this. You know what's in it. Yeah. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, it removes the best things of that whiskey. And that's what I got. Yeah. It's fucking pl like a step Destroyed function. 15 years of work. Yeah. 15 years. Well, would you agree? Not agree? What do you think, Carl? I would back say you definitely can't mix it with a Cali 15 because you're just ruining yeah. that one. And if it can't yeah. mix it with a Cali 15, it can't mix with any of the other yeah. whiskeys we have. But worst off, the smell is a lot worse. Yeah. Like the the taste, I mean, it wasn't it's, as good, but the taste was okay. Neutral. Yeah. It, but the smell was like, I couldn't smell yeah. it. I smelled it and I was like, no. Yeah. Gotta try so, it. Yeah. So, do we agree? Let's veto Let's, uh, the yeah. cold brew out. Let's just yeah. keep the cold brew well, out. Well, here's the thing it's it not here. even that hard to veto it because it's not a whiskey. Yeah. By yeah. our standards, 40% minimum. 40% minimum yeah. to a whiskey. Absolutely. It's not a whiskey. Absolutely. Each of us, pour. A measure of our own glass. Like so, I need a proper Glencairn pour. We have decided that the Jameson mm. cold brew is not a true whiskey, for one. I agree. Mm -hmm. And because of that, it doesn't deserve to be in the bottle. Agree. Mm -hmm. So, Infinity Bottle, what do you guys think? Final assessment, plum and go! Infinity Bottle is unique, one of a kind, an amalgamation of perfection, okay? It takes everything that you want from all the bottles that you like and nothing that you don't like from any of the bottles that you hated. And I love it. Agreed. It's like the best whiskey times infinity. And that's reasonable. Mm -hmm. That's a reasonable thing to do. It's the best aspect of every whiskey that we've had to date. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, um, you can't argue with this until you've actually come on the show and actually tried it. Yeah, please mm -hmm. come on. Send me an email at whiskeytopforum at gmail.com. Also, tweet us at... Stop tweeting us. <laughs> at TalkWhiskey. No. So Paul Lee can actually do the <laughs> job. Do not tweet us. Or if you Instagram, DM me at whiskeytalkforum. <laughs> Way more w -H likely to get a response. W-H-I-S-K-Y, no E, oh. Talk Forum. And uh, we'll respond to you. I, I hope to see you on the show at some point. Until the next time. Slancha! Slancha!